Our next speaker is a uh, radio talk show host in South Jersey, well known, a terrific writer, a former freeholder, a former Atlantic City Councilman, a very, very good friend of mine, and the founder and acting president of Liberty and Prosperity in Atlantic County, Seth Grossman. Seth? Thank you. Thank you. By the way, I'm not the president. The president is Bob Bulkley, who came all the way up Route 206 to be here at Liberty and Prosperity, an education group inspired by the motto of New Jersey, Liberty and Prosperity. But again, nobody knows who I am or who our group is. We're in a group in Summers Point. That's uh, exit 30 on the parkway for those north of uh, Tom's River. But what I am known for is for this little sign over here. This little sign says, no toll hikes repudiate NJ's unconstitutional debt. Now, four months ago, I displayed this sign together with Steve Lonigan in Middle Township, New Jersey, so that the governor would understand there were other ways to deal with the budget crisis besides borrowing $40 billion. The response was that for the mere act of holding this sign that you see here, I was arrested, I was handcuffed, I was placed in the back of a patrol car, I was taken to the holding cell where I was handcuffed to the wall next to Steve Lonigan for holding this sign. And we all know what happened. The people of New Jersey were outraged because there is a constitution in this state that says we have the right to speak, we have a right to hold signs, we have a right to hand out literature that's in the Constitution. And because of your outrage and knowledge of the Constitution, we put a speed bump in the way of the march to selling our turnpikes and highways. But there's another thing in the Constitution that maybe you don't know about. That's Article 8, Section 2 of the Constitution, which says no money can be borrowed by the state without a vote of the people. The governor says he has to borrow, has to spend more money and hike the tolls to pay back $37 billion of state debt. But the truth is 80% of that debt was never approved by the voters and is illegal and unconstitutional debt. Every, every year, the legislature spends about $4 billion to pay for unconstitutional debt. And Steve Lonigan took a case to court and the Supreme Court confirmed the state is not legally or morally obligated to pay a penny of debt unless the people voted to approve it. And if you read the fine print of the bonds, it says this is junk debt not backed by the full faith and credit of New Jersey. When I told Governor Corzine repudiate the illegal debt, his answer was if we do that, nobody will ever loan money to the state again. repudiate all illegal and unconstitutional debt. Thank you. Yeah.